Hello everyone, I'm Dark Kara, and this is the Home of Remastered Let's Play. We are going to be doing the final mission this time, called Simply Higara. I am feeling a little bit under the weather, so I hope my voice sounds okay. Uh, but let's uh, proceed onwards with the mission. Mothership. We've lost Charon. Fleet Command is gone. Emergency biotech teams are working to keep her alive. The collision asteroid must have served its purpose as a delay tactic. There's a large number of Tidan ships located here. A Mothership class vessel is among them. So yeah, everything starts out fairly dramatically. Uh, Karen has maybe been killed, or perhaps gravely injured, and we are completely surrounded by a large number of enemy ships with none of the rebels to be found that were supposed to be helping us. Just wonderful. Group 10 and while uh, they are nothing that's comparable to the fleet that you should have at this point in the game, uh, the first wave in particular is very dangerous because it, it kind of catches you off guard with you before you know what's going on, and it also appears really close to your mothership. And the problem is that with the amount of firepower that they have in that initial wave, uh, if it gets up to your mothership, and I think every time I fought them, they would just target the mothership. Like, they would will not target other ships, even if the other ships start attacking them. So they go right for the mothership, and they can kill it very, very quickly uh, with the heavy cruiser and the destroyers and everything else up there. They can take it down fairly quickly, so you have to be very careful with it. Group two copies. And that's the main gimmick of the stage here, is that um, the enemy continues to warp in waves of ships that you have to defend your mothership from. So, while it may be tempting to go directly for the enemy mothership on the opposite side of the map, you do not want to do that, because uh, they, and they will keep on sending enemies, and enemies will just go straight for your mothership, and they will kill your mothership before you can even get to the enemy mothership. So it's a it's a non-winning proposition. You just leave your guys kind of close to your mothership and kind of go out and uh, meet waves of enemies as they appear. There are also a couple of enemies that stay there, the mothership that I mentioned, and its defenses, which is a carrier and a couple of capital ships, some cruiser, heavy cruisers, uh, and some destroyers. However, there is also a enemy carrier uh, above your mothership. It's like directly above your mothership, and it's by itself, and it, it summons the usual strike craft that mother carriers will summon. So it's fairly easy to destroy with uh, without too much of your fleet needing to, to go there. So you can leave the majority of your fleet near the mothership to keep repelling uh, enemies. And honestly, the, the fact that these enemies just keep warping in um, can be fairly dramatic, especially if you don't have. A, an incredibly large fleet. Like if you haven't been, you know, salvaging enemy ships all the time, or if you didn't capture all the ion cannons two missions back, or if for some reason you just never built that much of a fleet in the first place, maybe you've lost a bunch along the way. Uh, then this can be quite a climatic uh, and kind of tense mission because the waves will be coming in and you'll be fighting them off, and then more waves will come in. And uh, you, so the damage that they can do to your mothership means that you have to take them out quickly because if they can get to your mothership, then uh, it's almost game over at that point. Uh, however, with my strategy of basically investing heavily in the salvage corvettes and stealing every enemy ship that's not nailed down, which is all of them because we're in space, uh, this is actually really easy. I cleared every wave out way no before problem. the next wave came, so I spent large chunks of the mission just sitting there waiting for the next wave to show up. 
Also, um, if you keep keep up the Salvage Corvette doctrine that I've tried to ingrain in you, uh, you'll be capturing the heavy cruiser that shows up with every wave that the enemy sends. So you'll take out the big threat of the wave every time without even fighting it. You'll be, just take it with the Salvage Corvettes and clear everything else out with your fleet. Uh, and it makes the, the mission incredibly easy and kind of ruins the, the kind of threat and the the big finale feel that this mission is supposed to have and will have if you're not just way overpowered for it. Another fleet is coming out of hyperspace right on top of us. We are being overwhelmed. This is Captain Nelson. We have been battling reinforcement fleets to get here and have lost many ships already. The Emperor's flagship is here. Together we can defeat him and the Tidan fleet. I am placing squadrons Kor and Jassa under your command. But in any case, uh, at some point, um, Captain Nelson will show up, finally, with some rebel forces. Uh, he'll have a few ships that he controls, and he'll give you control of a few ships that go with him. Uh, at this point, it's safe to leave uh, your mothership alone. No more enemies will be showing up uh, from warpins. So it's completely safe at this point to send your fleet with him. Um, I'm not sure what happens. Uh, he, he goes straight for the enemy mothership. He does not stop to do anything else but attack that mothership. And that's a problem if the, all the other, other enemies there are still up because I'm not sure what happens if he dies I've not I've never had to happen honestly so I'm not entirely sure um, and honestly for some reason the ships that he has have way way more attack power and hit points than a ship is, of that type is supposed to have uh, so what I did was I took the ships that he warps in with that get and gives you and just followed him in with them and distracted the uh, enemies heavy cruisers with those ships and they die fairly quickly however uh, he goes in right from the other ship like I said and just completely him and his his destroyer and the few ion frigates that he has just completely waylay the mother ship and kill it no problem like you know <laughs> Elson pro pretty much uh, wins the wins the getting the day by himself completely so yeah this this map can be fairly intense it, it can be difficult you know if you didn't do quite as well as I did going through the game, and um, I think at that they, what they really should have done uh, to make this better of a of a thing was, you know, Karen got heavily injured. It would have been better if they would have played that up more, if the enemy commander had spoken to you more and taunted you more, and maybe kind of elaborated a little bit more on the enemy's thought process on attacking you in your homeworld. And I think it would have been interesting to have some kind of uh, gameplay element tied into the fact that you don't have Fleet Command anymore, because she's supposed to be the one coordinating the mothership and all the other ships that you control. So it would have been interesting to have something happen because she right, wasn't around to command the ships anymore as well. Um, it would have been interesting if instead of the enemy fleet warping in on the countdown timers, if instead they would come in... Um, on the trigger of, you know, this percentage of the previous wave got destroyed, so send the next wave in and have that one start coming in. That could have been more interesting, I think, as well, instead of, you know, if you clear out the wave fairly quickly, you kind of just sit there and have to wait until the next one shows up. Fleet Command, back online. The Emperor is gone. What's our damage? Group 5, destroyed. We have brought the council. This war is over. The Galactic Council recognized our claim to this world. The sacrifice of thousands has left a trail of destruction behind us, like a path across the galaxy. 
to Higara, our home world. So much destruction, so many lives lost for this place. A place of wonder to those who knew only the sands of Karak. Our colonists were released from their long sleep. All symbols of the old empire were destroyed. But the conflict will never be forgotten. The celebration marked the beginning of a new time. No longer fleet command, Karen Sajet survived extraction from the mothership's core. She insisted that she would be the last person to disembark and set foot on the home world. For some reason, I'm not sure why they, um, they have this orchestral music playing again for the credits, but the original Homeworld uh, re release had a song by Yes that they recorded especially for the game. That's called, uh, it was the latter, uh, parentheses, Homeworld, I believe. And, I mean, I I'm a fan of that kind of music, so I like that song a lot, and I'm not sure why they chose to not have it in the credits for this remastered version. I wonder if they couldn't get the license again, even though the song was made for their game. I I'm not sure what happened there, but it's kind of disappointing. If you like um, new wave or alternative type music um, from like the 70s and uh, in the early 80s, then I recommend you trying to go listen to it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's the last mission. I thank you all for watching. I'll have one one uh, video after this one. The finale mission of uh, mission. What? The finale video. Uh, where I'll discuss kind of my overall thoughts of the game and have my experience with it, and I will be announcing what my next Let's Play will be. So, I will see you all then. Uh, thank you once again for watching. Bye.